not a fan. All right, let's, let's give Napoli a try, guys. Temper your expectations. Temper your expectations. Um, this ship and I don't get along. So, reminder, let's talk about Napoli before I take it into a game. All right, so Napoli has... I've, I've taken Survivability Expert, which is questionable, but I didn't know what else to do with the points because Italian cruisers are kind of like, eh? You don't really know what to do with the points, okay? When you take Survivability Expert, she has kind of like almost Alaska health. She has 60K and change. Without it, it's like 59-something. It's high, okay? So think of her, like mentally think, approach it like Alaska. Here's the difference. 10-inch guns, not 12-inch guns, okay? These guns, in my experience, are really hard to make perform. They do not hit that hard. And that's the frustration I have with them. Um, you want the AP to do good things. Eh? The HE is like slinging wet noodles, pun intended. So the main battery feels kind of crap, okay? She has... Um, the secondaries, by the way, are all SAP. This is something I wish they'd do more of. You can actually... Get, you actually, I actually have done this on the ship, and I'll show you what I mean. I took a secondary mod in this slot, Okay which gives me 9.2 kilometer secondaries. Uh, I think I have the flag too, which is about as far out as you can push them, right? Do I, tell you, I think I got the flag in here. Uh, yeah, 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 secondary flag. So I think that's as far as you can push them because there's no secondary talents in the cruiser skill tree. No, that's as good as it gets. So 9.2 secondaries on 10.3 concealment. Napoli wants to be a brawler, right? When you look at the ship, she has like Zao stealth. The AP is good. The armor scheme is actually not bad. But you got to get in close, right? You got to be, you got to get in close and be a jerk. Her torpedoes are decent. They are the Italian. They're not fast, but if you, if you got to get in close to do some some hard hitting work, they're good. Okay, and the SAP secondaries can are surprisingly decent because they have a lot of pen baked into them, right? You got twenty six millimeters of pen on a ninety millimeter shell, and forty two millimeters of pen on a, on a six inch shell. That's really nice, right? Um, I got into a brawl a few days ago with a Des Moines, and I think I did about 8,000 damage just out of my secondaries, which surprised me. Um, yeah, I hear you, Chaser. I hear you. I, I'm, I'm with you. I wish they'd have brought those skills back. Full stealth rig is 10.3. Okay, 9.2 max is the max you can get out of the stealth. I mean, is the max you can get out of the secondaries, and then uh, 13 and a half on the torpedoes. These are standard Italian torpedoes. Same torpedoes you get on, like, um, uh, Brindisi and Venezia, Okay. A, the A is actually pretty solid, if I'm honest. Um, but it's it's like all Italian A, it's very short-ranged. The ship can take care of itself. You're not going to be contributing flak or meaningful A damage just to, to defending any of your teammates. It's just the way it is. And then um, she is quick, right? With a speed flag, you see they're over 37 knots. That's nice. That's nice. She handles good. This ship has Italian handling. Like, she, she drives like a sports car. But the trouble is she hits like a limp noodle. So that's the struggle I've been having with her. Oh, oh, Chaser, that's the dream, isn't it? That's the dream. Give me SAP secondaries on the Italian battleships. Drive me closer to the enemy, please. So, um, all right, you've seen the build and everything. Let's let's play Napoli for a second. Um, and again, I promise nothing. I have I have not agreed with this ship very well. I keep finding myself in battleship heavy games with carriers. And if you've played it, if you've played Zhao, you know what does Zhao hate more than anything? Zhao hates carriers. Because carriers ruin her gimmick, which is to move around the map and not be seen. Okay? And here we are again. Right? So, if you, if, if you believe Zhao struggles right now in the current, in the current environment, you're going to find Napoli suffers, suffers almost the exact same problem. For the exact same reasons. She's short-ranged. She's stealthy, but she's short-ranged. And um, the carriers, take away, carriers take away her gimmick. So, yeah. I mean, this is... I don't think I've had a game yet in this ship without a carrier. Now, I like having carriers in the game, but my frustration is when you design a ship like this, it literally only performs when it can't so be spotted needs, for certain lengths of time. time. And of that ain't around. Napoli, kids. That ain't Napoli. Cool. I've read, um, I've seen some people say good things about um, the secondary changes on a PTS, but I have not tried them myself, Chaser. Yeah, Napoli should go for sale here at midnight on NA. She's already for sale in Asia. She is expensive. For cash, she's expensive. I don't know what she's going to cost in coal and all that. See, this guy doesn't know how to turn his AA off, so as a result, 
he's going to take about a 5,000 point uh, Immelman hit from the bombs. Called it. All because he didn't know how to turn his AA off. Now, I have taken range mod on this ship. I played it a few games with reload instead of range, but you have a 16 and a half kilometer range in tier 10. It's, it feels awful, right? You just, you really struggle to find situations for the first half of a match, right? Where you don't feel like you're gonna get absolutely massacred. This gearing is going to die. I don't understand why he doesn't understand how planes work, but he clearly doesn't, so... Oh well, sucks to be him. He's just gonna keep bringing the planes back, dude. Like, that's that's exactly how this is gonna go. Alright, we've got a Seattle up here with a decent angle. No, he's kinda angled away, and he's turning away. Yep, some battleship just thumped the hell out of that guy. Shell velocity is really good, by the way. It's almost a thousand meters a second, right? These shells go where you aim them, which is lovely. You just gotta aim them right, which that wasn't it. I ricocheted three shells. Lovely. I mean, I suppose I could, Cthulhu. I hadn't even thought about it. I forget about those captains half the time, if I'm honest. A cap's a loss. We can probably take C. He's alive because your carrier isn't spotting him. That's why he's alive. All my Battletech fans will appreciate the name of the Massachusetts in front of me. It's a good clan name. I approve. Yeah. No, 17 seconds is the reload time. But remember, these are 10-inch guns. But for three more seconds, I could have Alaska guns, which hit much harder. Right? So, like, eh. Like, what did you think was going to happen, Massachusetts? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Gucci, Gucci. Look at that. A random 17,000 point salvo from someone I never even saw. Amazing. <laughs> My goofball secondary secondary thing worked. Look at me go. Time to put on the beer goggles. Yeah, this should help. Fighter destroyed. As long as I don't fire my guns, this guy can't see me. It's Massachusetts. I got citadeled anyway, because I'm literally wearing the Massachusetts like armor. Did you think 
I might have the Seattle. Nope, he's healing again. But you see what I mean? The guns just don't hit that hard. Spazdog with the resub! Thank you so much. This is where I always end up with this ship. Wasting my time chasing someone who my team should have killed already. Look at this. 350 HP. And the Seattle survives on 350 HP. Okay, I'm backing off. There's no need to be down here chasing a thunder. I'm gonna get my face melted. Oh, the dispersion is god awful. You begin to understand why I don't like this ship, right? All they have to do is kite you, and you're basically toothless to hurt them. All right, now that I'm teamed up with the Ohio, we'll give this a shot. Veneto looks like he's flooding. He is. He was. Let's see if we can hit him again. Ooh. Yes. Spot that dude again. Yes. Okay. All right. We got a three-ship lead now. Things feel okay. Nah, Yoshino's fun, man. Yoshino is silly amounts of fun. I'm gonna see what I can do with the AP against the Borodino. Mostly because I'm curious, not because I'm expecting very much. I mean, the HE is basically worthless, so I'll give... Oh, wow. Bismarck just wiped that guy out. Well, that was over. Oh, look who I found, ladies and gentlemen. He's turning his engines on, but it feels a little... No, he's not turning his engines on. 
Another day, another disembowelment. Feels like he's given up. There's the Citadel I've been looking for all game. All right, put the carrier down. We got this in the bag. Let's get this done. There's the game. So that's literally the best damage game I've ever had in Napoli. But you can see, right, like the guns, the trick with this ship, you, when you use her to push, right, if they just kite you, not really much you can do about it. You can keep up, you can harass, but your guns aren't that amazing, right? You're not going to do amazing damage while you're chasing them down. How many times did we get that Seattle within like a half a percent of dying and the he got away. He didn't kill, he didn't die till the very end. Carno is not out of NDA, no. We'll come back and we'll play Napoli again. Um she's she's a fairly well protected ship, but offensively, no, the HE fire chance is terrible. Um offensively, you have to really temper your expectations with this ship. This is a ship that is going to do well by um staying in the game, right? She needs to use her smoke and her stealth to not die quickly because she's a she's. A, if you think back to the conversation we were having top of the stream about Abruzzi, right? Abruzzi and and well, Duca doesn't have a heel, but Abruzzi does, right? The Italian HE um, out of those little six inch pop guns on the light cruisers, right, can do good work. The AP will do good work against the right targets, but it takes time. You have to play a little cautiously. You have to not throw your ship away. Not take stupid risks early. Napoli is the same way, right? She's a ship that over the long course of a game can rack up a decent damage total, but it's a very slow process. It will take time. It needs a, a 12 to a 15 to an 18 minute game. You know, if you want to have a 200,000 point damage game, you better be hoping either A, the enemy screws up in spades or B, the game lasts 20 minutes, right? Because the guns themselves do not feel amazing and they just, um, they, they're honestly, they feel weak. So it, it just is what it is.